Welcome back. Uh, where do we start from? Um, introducing the new MacBook Air, 13 inch MacBook Pro, iOS 16, iPad OS 16, Mas Mac OS Ventura, and Watch OS 9. After me, I'm, I'm not too bothered about the watch, but uh, that's all quite good. But let's start off with the MacBook Air. I have to admit, I did, it was the price that I was straight away interested in. And obviously, all new design. Um, we were expecting that M2 chip supercharged. Got the Apple usual promotional stuff on their website. Up to 18 hours of battery life. Liquid Retina display. Yeah. <laughs> I think we all knew the notch was coming. I'm not a fan of it, but if it means a better camera, then that's that's great. Uh, improved audio, obviously. Slimline, so good they didn't get rid of the headphone jack. That would just been a nightmare had they done that. Don't take it lightly. <laughs> nice pun. Then this, £1,249, £249 more expensive. Now, obviously, they're going to still sell the M1 version, but to have this, it almost should have been a replacement. It's more expensive now. Are people going to get it? Because the M1 is a very good chip. Less to carry, more to do. Redesigned around. It's strikingly thin, exceptional speed. Now, going at 1.24 kilograms, 1.13 centimeters thin, uh, going on the whole sort of thin aspect. Now, have they fixed the screen issue? I mean, only a few MacBooks were affected by this, but if that design is flimsy, are people going to buy it? Is it going to put people off? If it's more thin near the screen, is that going to make it even weaker? I mean, we don't really know, do we? But we know it's going to be fast with that M2 chip. So it comes in four gorgeous finishes, as they say, each with its own matching MagSafe charging cable. Obviously, the MagSafe is a very good addition. So hang on, we've got Midnight, which looks very nice. Space Gray, Silver, as usual. Starlight, okay, not too bad, not too bad, but it does look great. I mean, it always looks great, and I do really like the MagSafe charger. It's so much better. You plug in the USB-C on this, and literally, you, you don't know when it's charged, uh, whereas you've got the little light back. So obviously, without a fan, silent as usual, um, as responsible as its durable features, 100% recycled aluminium. Okay, I know you guys in the US say aluminium. Aluminum, have I got that right? I don't know. But yeah, performance, 1.4 times faster than the M1 model, 15 times faster than Intel-based model. We don't care about Intel now. It's all about the M1. 18 hours of battery life with more streams of 4K and 8K ProRes video with the high performance media engine. Um, yeah, it just seems amazing, to be honest. Yeah, the M1 chip going inside of it. Yeah, I mean, usual 8-core CPU, 10-core GPU, 16-core neural engine. I mean, how much more? It says 35% faster GPU, 18% CPU. I mean, for some people, that might not be too a lot. If you're compiling a film, yeah, uh, sorry, a movie project, that might be a bit faster. But in general usage, of course, it's not going to be that much faster. Why has it gone back? I'm going to learn more. Oh, I've lost my position now. To be clear, it's gorgeous. Yes, of course it is. 500 nits of brightness, that's an increase. P3 wide color gamut, true tone technology, which I never turn on because it just messes up the color in my opinion. Looks and sounds great. 1080p FaceTime HD camera, three mic array. I mean, it was good anyway, but it's now improved. Oh, hang on, four speaker sound system with spatial audio. Now I've got an issue with spatial audio when they have it through the speakers. You can't tell, it just sounds a bit thinner and flatter. Headphones, you can tell. Unless you've actually got a surround sound with Dolby Atmos, spatial audio. For me, I can't, I mean, I, I had the, um, I don't know if you remember, I had the ThinkPad, which allegedly had Dolby Atmos. I played it through it. I mean, the speakers were rubbish on it anyway, but I can't actually tell whether it had Dolby Atmos or not. Magic Keyboard has now full height function row key for quick access to favorite controls and shortcuts. Touch ID makes it easier. Magic Keyboard now has a full height function key. Am I missing something? It's kind of already got one now, isn't it? Um, but yeah, Touch ID is, is really good. Uh, two Thunderbolt ports on the left. That's literally the main change now, MagSafe. So if you are charging, 
you've got an additional Thunderbolt port, which is, which is brilliant. Connect up to 6K display. Use AR to see MacBook Air in your workspace. Ooh, I'll be doing that on the iPhone later on. And yeah, but I mean, they've obviously got that MacBook M1 chip still going, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that one. It's £249 uh, cheaper. Then obviously the new MacBook Pro 13 from £1,349. Now, I should have actually clicked. Oh, of course, going back to the MacBook Air, it's 0.3 inches larger, which is obviously interesting. I don't think that's too much of a difference. I mean, 13.3 inch deceptively seems like a 14 inch laptop because of uh, more height. And this one doesn't look too different from there, but I will do a comparison video with using the AR. The pricing of the uh, MacBook Pro M2 chip. It's only a hundred pounds more. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. Obviously it will have that fan. So it, you know, there won't be any thermal throttling. That's what you're worried about. It is slightly thicker and bigger and it's got that. It, the screen will be reinforced. I can't see an issue happening here. I know a couple be, a couple instances online I've seen where people have had the screen cracking issue, but I can't see it happening here. Um, Yeah, I mean, it's obviously the same. It's the same MacBook Pro, obviously, just with the M2 chip. And yeah, but notice, obviously, there's no notch on it as well, which is quite, it's quite interesting. But it'd be hard time, in my opinion, for your layman selling them <laughs> this one over the MacBook Air, something with the same performance. Um, obviously, interesting thing to note as well, it has got a uh, touch bar at the top, which a lot of people didn't quite like. So that would be interesting, but I'd easily go for the MacBook Air. Would I buy this again? Ugh, it's a lot of money. I, straight away, for your regular person, it's a lot of money. If I could sell this for a decent price, then I would get that, but it's already £249 more. And obviously selling this is, I mean, it's still a good laptop. Am I going to get better usage out of it? Yeah, uh, comes with a 35 watt dual power adapter. I don't know. I mean, let me know what you think in the comments below. But I mean, going on to the other big news for me personally, I know they had iOS 16, but I was more interested in iPad OS 16. I can't cover everything now, but just because it's got the ability to perhaps, you know, make your iPad similar to a laptop. You know, especially with the M1 iPad being released, it was just like, was it a waste considering the software? But I mean, it, claiming it's, it is, it is obviously better. We've got this pass key feature thing, which would be quite good. Uh, signing in more securely, what they've got. That's quite obviously privacy is a huge thing that Apple's working on. End-to-end -end encryption safe from phishing and data leaks. Okay, they also work on non-Apple devices. That's very interesting actually. Um, switching between apps seamlessly just with one tap or click of the mouse or trackpad. Uh, make a group of apps specific task or project layout. So this would be very good for your productivity stage manager. Yeah, I kind of have to see how this is in person really. It sounds very promising and it means I can possibly work on it. Um, I was hoping for Final Cut Pro, like an iPad version. I don't know, maybe it might be announced later on um, just to bring some work on the iPad because I can't bring this thing around with me a lot. Um, but yeah, it looked quite good. But I mean, the main focus of this video was the MacBook Air. A bit underwhelmed by it. Um, it was almost like we were expecting this before, really. Um, and obviously it says release next month. L let's be honest, with the shortages that are going on, how, uh, how, how can we get this? How are we going to get this on time? If you were to place an order right now, when would you get it? I'm a bit skeptical on that side, really. But I have the M1 MacBook Air. I'm not in any hurry to get this. I'm quite interested in seeing the performance of this, of this laptop. But I do believe Mac OS needs to increase their... Basically, I want games on it. <laughs> 
if I'm able to play my full Steam library and everything, a MacBook's no brainer, and they would they would demolish Windows just with the gaming aspect. But Ventura is supposed to be more stable, better, more optimized for the M chip. Yeah, just nothing. I mean, passkey is quite interesting. Nothing that sort of stood out for me as such. Um, sorry if I bruised over most of the details, but just I'm just in a bit of a shock about the MacBook Air. Um, yeah, I mean, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, would you want me to get it, just to test it out? Again, it obviously depends on when it's coming. What do you think of it? Would you now consider a price drop in the M1 MacBook Air and get that if you could? Um, but yeah, otherwise like and subscribe and let me know in the comments below.